I've had my new table saw now for about a week and in that week I've had a chance to use it a little not a huge amount definitely not enough to give you a review yet but I have used it enough to know I really really want my incra fence back The issue that I need to overcome, the hurdle I need to overcome, is that the XL version of the Incra fence will accommodate up to a 33 inch deep table saw. Mine is 37. Which means, the saddle, the bridge, the main component that holds the sliding rail won't fit. So I could look to find some extended length brackets, which I think would be quite difficult given that they're quite a specific profile. I could mount the positioner on a, a something here maybe a make a cabinet to go underneath and mount that in a good solid piece of ply a couple of pieces of ply which is definitely an option or i could look to replace this piece the piece that i referred to as the bridge with a something else and that's what I intend to try first. So it just so happens that I have in my collection of associated hardware, a couple of pieces of extruded aluminium that I bought from a company called Ooze Nest. They make a CNC router called uh, either a busy bee or a worky, worker bee, or maybe it's just a bee, something to do with bees. I'll put a link below. Here's the aluminium and I've already fitted one just to prove the theory. It does mean that I've got to drill another hole in the bracket but I think it's going to work. I'm going to need two of these to replace that and, but I think that'll be fine. The other hurdle I've got to overcome is the fact that the edge of the table saw is angled in and it's not perfectly straight. It's not a right angle. So as you can see there, that's quite an angle. But if we look at the other side where they've, the engineer mounted the fence, you can see that they're using a standoff nut to hold this threaded bar inside the hole that's been drilled, been mounted, which is at the right angle perpendicular. So I'm gonna to attempt to take exactly the same approach on the far side so that I don't have to take the fence off until I know it's gonna work. So my first job is going to be to find some bolts that are um, the right length and enough nuts so that I can lock the bolt in place and then mount the brackets and the rail. And if that goes to plan, then I'll drill the holes in the brackets and do the same on this side.
Okay, so the bolts are a success, as I would have expected, because they're in place already on the other side. So now that the bolts are in, I've managed to temporarily fix the rail in place, and I've discovered the next hurdle that I need to overcome. That being that the bolts in the cast iron bed are much, much lower than the brackets can accommodate. And therefore, the rail is too low by some 20-ish mil, further compounded when I put my little packer in. So I need to raise the fence, but I can't raise the bracket. It just so happens that the ooze nest extruded aluminium is just about the right size. So if I place this under the rail on top the brackets, I'll retain a good firm fitting or fixing, but I'll be able to raise the rail back up to where it should be. So I'm going to take one of these 600 mil pieces and cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in half with a hacksaw, which isn't going to be a pretty sight. So I'll spare you that. And then I'm going to drill some clearance holes through using the drill press and a 10 mil drill so that I've got plenty of wiggle room and then I can get back to fit in the rail. There's my rail riser. Now the bolts that are supplied with uh, the INCRA system are tiny little wee ones and this little flange captive nut that slides in the rail I have no idea what thread that is I don't know whether it's Imperial or Whitworth's or I have nothing that'll fit it anyway it's too short so what I'm going to do is thread that into the rail because it's a lovely fit and then bolt or rather pop the nut at the bottom of the bracket so I've got my little um, outfeed roller that I used to use uh, for long pieces on the old cabinet saw at the end here just supporting it because there's very small distance between these two brackets so this end is going to need additional support I've got my saddle brackets clamped to the rail so I'm going to raise this a little bit because this front bracket's a bit high and if I leave that one where it is or just slightly slackened then the theory being if that end goes up that end's got to go down So that's the first hurdle overcome. The rail's in place and it's at the right height. So El Chufto, enthused beyond belief. So next job is to take the factory supplied fence and fence rail off and to fit the rail, the Incra rail on this side. See you after that. So that's both rails fitted. And don't they look beautiful? The level of positivity I'm experiencing at the moment is absolutely immense. I'm beside myself. So now I'm going to move on to mounting the brackets onto the new aluminium extrusion. I've got the uh, inserts that Ooze Nest make to work with this. And I've already drilled one hole in that bracket. So I'll drill the other hole and then I can use those measurements, scribe them across to this bracket, drill those holes, mount the saddle, and then I'm on to, well, the penultimate stage actually, fits the positioner to the aluminium, and then it's calibration, which is gonna be really interesting, as I have no mitre slot this side of the blade.
Well, I think I'm there. So I've checked all my bolts and screws are nice and tight. I've got the fence locked in. I've got the two support brackets locked in. Incidentally, I've just discovered that the nylon feet on the bottom of my fence support brackets are a little worn, which is where this sound is coming from and a little bit of added friction. Um, hopefully you can get some new ones. If not, I'll have to resort to some of that double-sided nylon glide material that you can get. I might even have some. And I've calibrated my fence. I use this eye gauging uh, pressure tool and because I don't have uh, a mitre gauge this side to use what I did was to place it nice and firmly up against blade side of the sliding table as the engineer spent a considerable amount of time paralleling the sliding fence with the blade so I am to within 0 0.01 of a millimeter front and back I think that's pretty good my final job was to calibrate the scale so I set the fence to 150 mil from the tip of the blade using my super duper pickup rule there's a good vid and then adjusted the scale to suit so finally time for a test cut Well, that felt so much better. A little bit of normality back after such a major change in the workshop. I'd just like to make one point though. I'm not for one minute saying that this system's better than that system or another system. I'm saying I'm very comfortable with this system and I wanted it back on my new saw. And I've got it back now and I'm very pleased with it indeed. Incidentally, if you want to see an in-depth video on setting up the INCRA system from scratch and calibrating or recalibrating it, then I'll pop a link to a previous video I've made up above and down below in the description. But for now, and for this video, that's it. I'm off to put my Jessam hold downs back in place and to figure out how I'm going to make a suitable cabinet to support my overhead dust guard. My thanks for watching and see you next time. Ta-ra!